The reason I ask this is because I was born and raised in the UAE. My parents are from the India, and it was it was a bit difficult for me um, when I went back home. So I studied here till seventh. I went uh, back home to India to study, and um, my style of communication was not really um, welcomed. <laughs> uh so that's one and then then i got through it through experience uh through various experiences then i come here again for work and then uh introduced to different kind of uh different styles of communication which again now if i go back home and speak to my mom or any uh, any of the elders they think it's too direct or uh, disrespectful of course it's not meant to be uh but it's perceived as that so uh, that's that's something that I wanted to share with you, Emma. Yes. So I think that um, in that individual situation, you've obviously recognised that your culture, your the culture that you have grown up in, has formed or shaped the way that you have chosen to personally communicate, and you've recognised now that that doesn't necessarily always um, fit well when you're in certain situations. Um, and I, and that is an element of cultural intelligence. It's around um, recognizing um, when do I need to, you know, when do I need to put different strategies or approaches in place in order to to make sure a certain interaction is more effective. So when you're back home in India, you may decide to kind of dampen down your um, your approach in your communication style in order that it's perceived as more respective, um, f- you know, to the elders in your family. Um, now, some people might say, well, then I'm not being true to myself. I was going, I was going there. Internal <laughs> conflict, yes. yes. Um, and, I think, and I think that's down to individual. Um, there are certainly things that we can choose that we're okay to flex on, and there's other things that we will choose not to flex on. Um, for example, somebody's um, religious values may determine um, that they won't be able to flex on certain things. Um, but if it's just a case of, in your cir- circumstances, that you need to just um, not be so forthcoming um, with your conversation and just allow more f- um, space in the conversation for um, your parents or el- other elders within your family to speak, then you then have to ask yourself, um, does it does it really... Um, you know, if it's not to the detriment of you if you do that. Actually, is it? It actually benefits me if I do that because if I if I benefit from it, um, you know, or I will benefit from it because I will be perceived by my family as being more respectful. Um, so actually, you know, it's it's good thing to flex. So yes, you might feel like you're not being your true self, but if it's um, not to the detriment of you and actually it benefits you to flex then it, it makes perfect sense to to make that effort to think about do I need to flex in this situation 